guys, Todd from Lowbrow Customs here again. Uh, today I'm going to show you a new tool that we just came out with for Triumph 650 engines. Uh, this handy little tool will come to your door looking like this, neatly packaged. Uh, these are made in the USA, nicely machined tool. This is for installing the lay shaft bearings on your transmission. And what I normally do for this operation is I put the, the bearings in the refrigerator and the freezer and get them nice and cold and then we're going to heat up the case. We're going to demo this tool real quick. We're going to show you how easy it is to use and how important it is to have this type of tool when installing these bearings. Okay, you've got two. These are your lay shaft, your counter shaft on your transmission. There's a closed one and an open one. The shoulder on the tool is designed to install the bearing. And the reason why this is so important is if you look inside this bearing, you're gonna see a bunch of little needles, rollers, that the end of the lay shaft spins around on. If you were to use a socket or a drift or something of that nature, there's a really good chance that you would damage the bearing. Now, they're not super expensive bearings, but you wanna install them correctly. Okay, so we've frozen our bearings. We'll go ahead and heat up our crankcase and I'll show you how easy it'll go together here. According to the book, it says to heat it to 100 degrees. Right here, I got my book open. 100 degrees Celsius, mind you. I like using map gas. It heats much faster than propane. Costs a little more. So here's the boss where the bearing goes. You're just gonna evenly heat it up. Some of the other bearings on these engines, you are required to heat it quite a bit more than 100, but these ones go in fairly easily when you have the correct tool. Okay, got my case all heated up. Once again, not heating it to 3,000 degrees. I'm gonna take my bearing and I'm gonna set it down in the hole and I'm gonna kinda of get it centered over that hole. Take my tool. Make sure it's square. Okay, so I have the bearing installed in the crankcase. There is a specification in your workshop manual. They want that bearing to just be sticking up by about 0 0.073 to 0 0.078 above the surface. And if you don't really have any way to measure that, what you can do is you can take your thrust washer that goes on the end of the lay shaft, and there's a little locating pin inside there, and you can set it, set it over it after you've driven it when, when you get towards the bottom with the bearing, you don't want to keep going until it goes too far down in. You want to lightly tap it at the very end until you have it set at the right depth. Okay, that was the closed end bearing. The opened end bearing is going to go in your inner transmission piece that goes on here. And we'll show you that one. The tool does both of those bearings. Once again, we want to heat it up. And that should probably be hot enough. Start our bearing, make sure she's square. And once again, I'm gonna use my thrust washer. Check where it's at. Looks like it's still a little too high there. And that looks pretty good right there. Now, I think I'm gonna go just a skosh more till she's flush with the inside of that, just a little bit more. And that's all there is to it. This new tool and many other tools are available at lowbrowcustoms.com to work on your Triumph 650 motor. We got Harley tools, we got Triumph tools. Stay tuned, we got some other new tools to show you real soon. Thanks for watching, guys.